Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been, uh, I don't know, a few months since I really did any new content. Thank you all for being very patient. It is uh, just now warming up. It's about 58 degrees today. Myrtle Beach, um, a little chilly. I understand that's relatively speaking compared to some of you who might be in a more colder climate. Today, a little bit of a rain session. Question is for all you guys, get down in the comments down below. Question for you all. How do you jump back into your season when it's time for golf? Do you just book a few rounds and go play and uh, let the cards fall where they may? Or do you go to the range, hit a few buckets, get back into the swing of things? And wow. Forget all your bad habits and uh, remember some of the basics. For me, I can't just go out to the range and just start playing. I, I have got to go back to the, or I'm sorry, I just can't go out to the course and start playing. I have to go back to the range, get set up, remember how to hit the ball, get in my positions and uh, figure out where bottom is. And mats can always make you feel better than you really are. But that's a pretty good strike. Pitching wedge right there. A few grooves up. Like I say, today, first day back, just trying to remember how to hit, what to do, where to stand. That's better. A little more that's way better so yeah mats though can be very deceiving very very um <laughs> forgiving in the strike when you're out on the grass today's mats only although i may break the rules matter of fact i'll grab one right now today is a good day. Ah, uh, back in the saddle. Boy, that's a good strike pattern. But I'm not gonna lie, this is uh, not my first day back at the range. Uh, I didn't want to put you all through that um, very rough start. Uh, for, for me, it typically takes four or five days at the range to get really back into the swing of things, remember my body positions where I want to be. Um, first day back, first bucket was 25% good balls, 75% barely getting them out there. And then um, second day at the range, 50%, uh, so 50% better. And then again, same thing, 75%. So uh, this is my fourth day at the range, just getting the hang of remembering what to do, how to swing. Just like that. For me, it's about just being a little bit slower in transition. Letting those hands just hang back there just a little bit. My biggest uh, challenge for me is just getting a little too quick with the hands. And the longer I play um, golf, throughout the year, the faster my transition gets. So one of the challenges that I'm gonna work on this year is try to make sure that I leave that transition as slow as possible. Just like that. <clears throat> any goals for any of you down the lens there? Anybody looking to uh, set a handful of goals? So I think I ended the year last year around um, high 30s, maybe low 40s, and greens in regulation. And this year, I'd like mid 40s. So one of my goals this year is 45% greens in regulation. Um, I am not going to focus as much on score 
and I'm going to focus a lot on just incremental changes in my game getting better. So one of my, I only have two pretty major goals this year for golf. One of them is 50% green, or I'm sorry, 45% greens and regulation. I'd like to get middle of the middle, middle of the road somewhere with greens and regulation. And then two, um, I want to make incremental changes in my golf game, little itty bitty things to make myself better. And then those should bleed in. Oh, that's perfect. Those should bleed into my game and allow me to compound those small incremental changes to lowering my handicap. So still, still keeping with that, um, still keeping with that journey to scratch. I'm still focusing on scratch, but I'm going to take it, take it this time and just do little incremental changes to get there. And I am. That last one was perfect. Oh gosh, that's another good one. <clears throat> so, let's grab the driver real quick. This one, it's amazing how good I drive the ball after a little bit of time off. I don't know what it is. But, my goodness. That is so good. I need to just bottle that for the entire year. I just have to bottle that feeling. Because <clears throat> that ball was striped. Let's do another one. I only got a little bit of, just after work today. So I just got, I don't know, 35, 40, 40 balls. So I really wanted to hit more chipping and putting today. So again, that same feeling that I just had. Let the hands just lag behind and get my hips out of the way. That's another very well struck ball. So one of the questions for the year. Am I going to uh, make any changes in the bag? Putter is set. Still playing the link one. Keeping that. That's, that's, that's fit. I love it. It's perfect. That's staying. Um, I got brand new wedges as you saw from my post. Uh, MG4s. 54, 58. Staying. Uh, irons. No changes. Uh, P770s from last year. I absolutely adore them. Uh, the only ones that I, I'm, I'm going to keep the stealth hybrid. Uh, I hit it pretty well, and I don't uh, don't think that's one that I really need to make any, too many adjustments with. Um, the driver, though, I am going to look at the QI10. I think all of us can use a little more forgiveness. So, if I can, if I can. Uh, eke out a little bit tighter dispersion without giving up any distance, I'm all for it. Um, the Stealth 2 Plus was by far the furthest driver I've ever hit. Ball speed's over 150. I've never been a guy that's a big, a good driver of the golf ball. Uh, I had ball speeds 152, I think was my fastest. Um, I am working out this year. I'm gonna try to get a little faster myself. Um, but if I can gain a little bit, I am gonna go I am going to go test the uh, QI-10. Uh, all three models. I'm not going to go with any preconceived notions. Um, if the Ping G430 Max 10K is there, uh, I'll give that a try too. Um, to try the Cali, I suppose. I'm going with an open mind. But uh, for the most part, st staying pretty close to the QI-10. Taylor made. I'm, I'm very happy with Taylor made. I really like the, the, the uh, carbon face. Tug just a little bit, but very well struck. Uh, what I'm noticing after being off for about six weeks, again, if you're, if you're watching from the north, I get it. It's, um, 
it's cold up there, so you're not playing. So for me to be able to be outside hitting balls outside is um, is, is a pretty cool thing. Um, they do have the, the grass is closed. They want us only to use the mats, but I'm never one for following the rules. So... Gosh, that is so well struck. Maybe tomorrow, if you keep an eye out in the channel, I might go for a walk and actually play a couple of holes. Won't be a lot of them, but some. I'm gonna grab the tee that fell behind you. <clears throat> With the time change, it's extremely difficult to uh, play more than, I don't know, two or three holes, so tomorrow, I think I'll come out and go for a quick walk. It's supposed to be high 50s, maybe 60 degrees tomorrow. So I can go for a quick walk. Same feeling. That was thin. Yuck. <clears throat> it's not gonna be mid-season form on the first day or the third. Or the fourth. This is my fourth day, I think. That was. I have it. My one thing that I've noticed in the last three days playing is I tend to get my weight out on my toes. So, and then I know that, and then I fall back. I fall backwards and come up out of it. That's better. That just little fade. Just off the tee, out there towards the middle, wee little fade. Uh, I'm going to finish up these handful of balls here, and then I'll meet you over on the chipping green. All right, finished up with the small bucket over there. Now, get to chip with my balls. Haven't even hit one yet. So these are the, uh, these are the new MG4s. I absolutely love them. This little groove in the back, whatever they did here, boy, does it cut through the ground nice. Um, had them for a little while. I posted a quick short on, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, chip and practice. So when you, again, come back out for your first few rounds, do you just go out and go? Or do you, boy, they come off the face so beautiful. That's the same window over and over and over again. And three good chips. These two here I like. This one here, first one got away from me just a little bit. So get in the comments whenever you uh, come back out for your first few rounds. Are you a, before I go play, are you a guy who is like, or a girl who uh, says, you know what, I need to spend a few minutes and a few days and get the feels back. That's a better chip. A little bit short, but okay. Another good one. Oh, I'll go in. I'll take that, and one more. Up, oh, duffed it. Are you a person that needs to warm up a little bit, a few weeks, one week, one weekend before you play? A trunk slammer. You are, you know what, it's back, sun shining, I'm gonna go play, score be darned. Get in the comments, let me know. I'm the, I, I'm the guy who needs to really practice for a couple of couple of weekends maybe maybe just one with some weekday uh, range sessions like today much better good distance good distance control nope too hard god this thing just comes right off the face these wedges are hot oh that's beautiful go in very nice. Yeah, 
I need to chip a few times, a couple of days, get the feels back in my hand, really remember how I want to play. That one there got away. That there is perfect distance. Wrong line. This one here is perfect everything. <clears throat> Unedited version today. All the bad shots are in. Uh, when I play, take you guys for a walk this year, I'm going to do less editing and just more hitting. Uh, and if it's a bad shot, you're going to see the bad shot. Um, three more and then I'll putt. Oh gosh, spin. Boy, this, if you haven't touched the, uh, the new grooves yet. Oh gosh, that's so good. Beautiful. The new MG4 grooves, they have the crisscross, like the laser etching. They have the grooves that run up and down the face. Then they have the, the perpendicular ones that go this way. They really grab the ball. In the beginning, I was pulling the hide right off the ball. Um, another good one. I'll take all three of those. I'll take all three of those. All right. Let's move you over here. We'll get you to <clears throat> get the putter. Do a little bit of putting practice. And sun is going down as you can see it, so we'll call it a day. So when you're working on your putting for your first few rounds back, do you have any thoughts? What do you think about whenever you're warming up for the first time? These are the first putts I've hit since my break. One of my thoughts I always think about is the toe. So whenever I get out of, out of track with my putter, mid-season or whatever, I try to go back to basics and I remember that the try to make the toe hold square. Yep, caught it a little thin. But still a pretty good putt for the first one. Let's see if we can't grab another one. Hmm, overread that. <clears throat> That's a better sound. That's a better sound. Here's the last one. Beautiful. Yeah, for me, I try to focus on quiet hands, probably what I should be doing all year long, to be honest with you. I try to focus on quiet hands. It's gonna die just a little bit down at the hole. Try to remember set up square, line should be square across the toes. Nice, nice. That's a good putt, actually. Whew, okay. Just to give you guys a little bit of a, there she is there, still playing the link one. I just love it, 34 inches. <clears throat> can't play around with it. You can't change grips, you can't change shaft length. Remember, that's the secret sauce. Everything about that putter is balanced. Wow. Really? <clears throat> Let's try a nice lag putt. Let's bring one down. Pace control. All right. Let's see if we can't cozy one up nice and tight. Get in there. Well, that's a good putt. <clears throat> nice roll too. Um, again, our first, oh, get in there. Oh. Our first few days back, right, when we come back after a, a decent time off, we, um, we forget all the bad habits. We have no expectations. We're very relaxed, 
right? We don't have any expectations. This is our first, first day back. Boy, these are the feels that if you could bottle. Beautiful. If that didn't hit the pin, it was in. That's the end of the video, folks. Thank you very much. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. Like the video. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing. More to come. Might go for a walk tomorrow uh, on the west course or the south course. Hit three or four holes, probably with the time of day. Uh, it's only 5.30. I could probably get one more hole in right now at 5.30. So it is staying lighter just a little bit longer. So um, thank you all for joining. Look forward to the next one.